A lot of billionaires are pouring millions and millions of dollars into longevity research, hoping to find the miracle molecule that extends human lifespan. Different billionaires like Sam Altman, Peter Thiel and Jeff Bezos have their own longevity funds and longevity startups that are looking into different pharmaceuticals for human life extension. Now, so far, we don't have any magic pill that would extend human lifespan, or at least we don't have the evidence to suggest that a certain pharmaceutical or drug would extend human lifespan. But what I've noticed is that all the same billionaires are taking one common pharmaceutical drug for the sake of longevity. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what this drug is and whether or not it has any potential for increasing lifespan. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. So the drug that a lot of these billionaires who are interested in anti-aging are taking is metformin. Metformin in medical practice is used as a diabetic drug and it is the like mainline defense for helping to treat a lot of the complications in diabetes. It is certainly true that metformin has a lot of benefits for addressing some of the complications in diabetes and uh, helping to actually control some aspects of type 2 diabetes and the glycemic control that uh, the diabetics suffer from. Metformin use in diabetics does improve their body weight, their glycemic control and reduces the requirement for injecting insulin. And metformin appears to also have beneficial effects for the risk of cancer. So uh, type 2 diabetics who are taking metformin apparently have a slightly lower risk of developing cancer. Now that's all pretty good. Most of the billionaires aren't diabetic and they're not really overweight. Of course, they're not in perfect health by any means. They're not really following some of the fundamentals of a healthy lifestyle practice like exercise and eating a clean diet. They're trying to find a quick fix. <laughs> they're trying to find this magic pill that would have this uh, life extension effect on their life. So does metformin actually have any life extension effects? Well, at least in mice, metformin does slow down aging and extend lifespan. And it's been found that uh, with metformin, the average lifespan increased by 37.8% in these uh, female mice. There are a few human trials and meta-analysis showing that metformin use might actually reduce the risk of mortality even in non-diabetics. And type 2 diabetics who have metformin apparently have up to 18% lower risk of mortality compared to the individuals who don't have diabetes and they're not taking metformin. So that's a very interesting point as like it will implicate that people who have diabetes but they're taking metformin, they can even live longer than people who don't have diabetes but they're not taking metformin, which is a very strong statement in a lot of ways because we know that diabetes does shorten your lifespan and uh, the reduction in your life can be up to 10 to 20 years if you have uh, diabetes. So if you are diabetic but you take metformin, do you just miraculously live longer than anyone else who doesn't have diabetes? Like that's a very strong statement and uh, you know it's actually not very clear whether or not it would be the case. Some of the studies that have found the uh, diabetics who are taking metformin living longer than non-diabetics not taking metformin were a bit flawed. Of course they're like epidemiological studies and we have some follow-up studies uh, doing the same experiment or trying to find the same effects and they find that uh, no the effects aren't the same so if you look at some of the better controlled studies then uh, no diabetics who take metformin don't live longer than non-diabetics not taking metformin. If you do have diabetes and you are taking metformin, then you will certainly probably increase your risk of survival and reduce your risk of diabetes and cancer than a diabetic who isn't taking metformin. So if you have diabetes, then metformin is a life-saving drug in a lot of ways. Like it helps you to control your diabetes and it will also increase your risk of survival and increases your life expectancy compared to uh, not taking uh, any metformin because diabetes is a very ravaging uh, disease. It has a lot of negative effects on your health and longevity. If you have diabetes and you're not doing anything about it, you're not taking any pharmaceuticals, then you are aging very rapidly and you are shortening your life expectancy by 10 to 20 years. If you don't have diabetes, then you're not really increasing your risk of mortality by not taking metformin, if that makes sense. So there's no evidence to suggest that metformin would have like a additional life extending effect in non-diabetic individuals. Of course, you could make the argument that there are some mechanisms that it could do so, like the suppression of mTOR and activation of AMPK and just the reduction in the risk of diabetes and lower blood sugar levels. Those things are good for longevity and they might have life extension effects but uh, so far, it's obviously very soon to say whether or not metformin actually has direct life extension effects in humans. Disappointed! 
So the reason why these billionaires are taking metformin probably has to do with the fact that they want to find a quick fix. <laughs> they want to find this magic pill that would basically help them to improve their metabolic health without putting in that much effort. Like a person who exercises regularly, who has very lean body composition, who has a lot of muscle mass, they're in excellent metabolic health and they're also eating a good diet, then they would probably not really see any beneficial effects from taking metformin. Metformin is only beneficial for diabetics and people who have poor metabolic health like the individuals who aren't diabetic yet but they're like skinny fat or they have just a little bit of extra few pounds to lose those individuals will probably see improvements in their metabolic health and reduction in hemoglobin a1c and blood sugar levels by taking metformin if you're fit lean athletic and you eat a good diet you follow a healthy lifestyle then i don't see there's no evidence to suggest that in those individuals metformin would have any life extension effects so metformin is literally like a shortcut for improving your metabolic health with this pharmaceutical that uh, artificially lowers your blood sugar levels. I've made a video about metformin and the negative side effects as well. You can definitely check it out. But the short summary of the negative side effects of metformin is that it can reduce your aerobic capacity and your cardiorespiratory fitness and your VO2 max. Metformin may also have some negative effects on the adaptations from muscle growth and muscle hypertrophy. And lastly, metformin can also reduce testosterone levels. So uh, if you are like uh, older person or something then you will see a natural decline in your testosterone levels as well and taking metformin may additionally suppress the testosterone production it's a trap. overall i think that metformin is certainly one of the most like successful pharmaceutical drugs in the world it doesn't have that many negative side effects it does have negative side effects on your physical fitness but it doesn't have like a lot of other potentially harmful negative side effects the benefits for uh, someone who has diabetes surely outweighs all the negative side effects. Like if you have diabetes, metformin will in increase your life expectancy and increase your longevity. If you're a person who doesn't have diabetes and you already follow a very healthy and physically active lifestyle, then the benefits of metformin for you are probably quite insignificant. So overall, whether or not you should take metformin depends a lot on your particular situation and your goals. If you don't have diabetes, then uh, you need to kind of think about whether or not it is worth it for you and whether or not you need it. If you do have diabetes, then of course, consult with your doctor. They can just give you metformin and it's going to be covered by your healthcare. I personally am not taking metformin. I would probably consider it at some point, but at my age, at my physical health and at my metabolic health, I just don't need it. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.